Hey guys, it's me, Cyrus. Welcome back. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of House of the Dead 2 for the Sega Dreamcast. This is a really awesome arcade light shoot 'em up gun game. Uh, it was an arcade game, obviously. Uh, ported to the Dreamcast, really, really good port, and it's really fun. Only problem that I've had over the years is the light guns for the Dreamcast are notoriously inaccurate. And this is a problem that a lot of people have documented in a lot of different places online. Uh, you'll find a lot of discussions on a variety of different forums and websites where people talk about the problems they've had with the accuracy of Dreamcast light guns. And different people have come up with different solutions for things or at least ways they think that they can improve the accuracy. But it's just problematic um there is a better gun that was only released in japan that most people do recommend i don't have that gun i have uh two of these ones and these are the ones i've had since the launch of the dreamcast and these guns have just never been very accurate and it was pretty disappointing because i did buy two of these guns specifically for house of the dead 2 because i absolutely was in love with that game and it was really disappointing to me that uh, they were not very good. They're not very accurate. But I have found that by increasing the brightness on a CRT to the point to where it's probably a little bit too bright, and look, a little bit washed out, then I get a lot better accuracy. Uh, also, I'm using S-Video for the output from a, a Blaze breakout box that I have for the Dreamcast. And... Unfortunately, when I use VGA, I seem to have some issues. So it seems to work better with either S video or composite. I don't know. I don't know why all this is. Like I said, there's a lot of people that have discussed this ad nauseum in a lot of different places online. And if you want to find out more about the issues related to light gun games on the Dreamcast, definitely go check out some of those things. I'll put a couple of links in the description if you want to follow up on that. And if you have a different experience with the Dreamcast and the light guns, I would love to hear it. I would love to hear your thoughts and your take and the problems you've had or the successes that you've had. I would love to hear that because it's pretty awesome. So like I said, I've done a couple of things to try to get this gun to work as good as I possibly can. Cleaned the lens on the gun itself. Um, I have, like I said, bumped up the brightness on the CRT that I'm playing with, cleaned the TV really well. I've got the sharpness all the way up. Um, so we're just going to see how it goes. We're going to play a little bit of this game. I'll be using this gun and I will be using it in uh, full auto mode with auto uh, reload just because with the accuracy as low as it is, it definitely helps to have uh, a gun that... Um, you know that can fire more rapidly so you can sort of guide your your bullets and things like that okay so no more talking for a little bit let's play some house of the dead 2 for the dreamcast a really awesome arcade port here we go i'm gonna turn the volume up on the game just a little bit here We're meeting G over there. What? Please be safe, G. How could anyone do this? G! James, I try. Don't underestimate the enemy. James, take this. Harry and Amy are coming to back us up. Harry, go! Thanks, G. No! No! Ah! Sorry, buddy. I don't want to die. My God. Don't come! Don't come! Shoot. Go away! Shoot. Go away! Please, help him! Don't kill me! There 
was nothing we could do. If only I had the Japanese gun, I could have saved it. So even with a less accurate gun, this game is still an enormous amount of fun. Uh, I will say that uh, since I am doing this through S-Video, it's outputting a 480i signal instead of the 640x480 uh, progressive signal that you could get if you output this through a VGA adapter. I do have an HDMI adapter for my Dreamcast, which will give you a really great picture that converts that VGA signal over to HDMI, but unfortunately not really going to be able to take advantage of that and play a light gun game with a light gun on a CRT TV. So something to be aware of. Dogs of the AMS time. They made a move, but if you want to see what that looks like, let's see. Um, I'll go ahead and switch over to the adapter that I have. The it's it's an adapter made by Kaiko K A I C O that converts the VGA to HDMI, and I'll show you what this thing can look like. I'm not going to be able to use a light gun for this, but just to show you how House of the Dead looks. All right, so this is what it looks like through the Kaiko HDMI adapter that I have. And I'll put a link in the description where you can take a look at that device and see if it's something that interests you because it's a really great way to get that VGA signal out of your Dreamcast and onto a modern TV. Not every game for the Dreamcast supports VGA, but the ones that do, 
can, yeah, you can just get a fantastic picture this way. It's a pretty affordable solution. So I highly do, I do highly recommend it. All right, I'll play this for just a second. The House of the Dead. The House. Of course, I can't use the, the gun dead. for this. We're meeting G over there. What? How could anyone do this? G. James, I try. Don't underestimate the enemy. James, take this. Okay, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching this. I may do some more uh, videos on uh, other light gun games for this for the Dreamcast. Uh, my buddy John Retro Bro was doing a video for the Sega Saturn light guns, and it just kind of inspired me to to do something about you know to talk about the the Dreamcast light gun situation. The guns for the Saturn are much much better than the guns for the Dreamcast. They're extremely accurate. So that's definitely a much better way to go. If you're looking for like just some really solid light gun games and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why the the uh, Dreamcast light guns are so inaccurate. But yeah, check out that uh, Japanese light gun. You might have a little bit better luck than, than I've had with these over the years. That's pretty much it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, more videos coming soon. Uh, I will talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.